This CES coverage is sponsored by Richer Sounds Manchester. Call 0333 900 0086 for the best prices and expert advice for TVs, AV and Hi-Fi. Hello everyone, Vincent Dio from HGTV Test here. I'm here at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas attending Samsung's first event at CES 2020. And what we are about to see is Samsung's new flagship 8K QLED. So behold the Samsung Q950 TS. Now, as you can see from the camera here, at this first look event, the South Korean brand has actually launched three ranges. The top tier Q950 TS, which will be available in 65 inch, 75 inch and 85 inch models. And then one step down will be the Q900 T, which will be available in 65 inch, 75 inch, 85 inch and 98 inch versions. But there is still discussion whether the Q900 will be making its way to the UK and Europe. And then at the lowest tier, we have the entry level 8K QLED from Samsung for 2020, which will be available in 55 inch, 65 inch, 75 inch and 82 inch versions. Now I will walk here and show you what the impressive thing about the Samsung Q950 is. As you can hopefully make out from the video on screen, it has almost no bezel. This is a full array local dimming set, but Samsung has done some wonders here to try and minimize the bezel to less than two millimeters when you look at it straight from the front. And therefore, from a normal viewing distance, you can't really see any bezel at all. So they are actually coining the term infinity screen to try and describe this sort of viewing experience that makes the screen look as if it's actually floating in the air. And this will also have 99% screen to body ratio because of this almost invisible bezel. Now, if I step around here, there are many people here. So if I actually step around here, you can see the side profile of this television, which is again for a full array local dimming set. It's extremely impressive. It is only 15 millimeters in terms of the chassis depth. And the back of the television is extremely flat. Of course, if you talk about thinness of televisions, you can't really beat OLED because it is actually self-emissive, but usually you will have the panel that is fairly thin at the top and then the bottom half needs to bulge out to accommodate the power supply, the connections and also other components. But if you look at this, superbly engineered Q950T, you can clearly see that it is just the same thickness from top to bottom. Also, note that it is placed on a central stand. This is different from previous Samsung AK QLED, which are placed on feet that are positioned at either ends of the panel. So this is again a welcome change in direction. But from the side, you can probably see that the screen is tilted back slightly, probably to support the weight. But still, I think you know from the front, because of the thinness of the bezel, I'm going to try and get up close here to let you see the thinness of the bezel. Because of the thinness of the bezel, it is going to be providing a really breathtaking viewing experience. But my main worry would be whether the screen uniformity would suffer if you build a TV to such a thin level. And another feature that Samsung is touting for its Q950 TS 8K QLED is Q Symphony Sound. From the back of the TV, you can clearly see there are many speakers which can create a surround sound experience, even from a flat screen television. So that is basically the 
Samsung Q950 TS. And I'm just going to briefly talk you through the difference between the Q950 TS and the Q900 and the Q800. So the Q950 TS we've just covered, it is the flagship top tier version. The Q900 is quite similar to the Q950 in terms of specifications, except that it doesn't have the one connect box. And therefore, its chassis depth would have to be thicker at about 25 millimeters, whereas the Q950 will be 15 millimeters thick. And the Q800 will be very similar to 2019's Q950 except that it will have a central stand and you won't have the feet at both ends of the display. So this is all the information that I could actually get out of this Samsung first look event. And as usual, details are sparse, but I've been informed, reliably informed, that the Q800 will have a similar number of local dimming zones as the Q 90R and also last year's Q950R, which is around 480 zones, and then the Q950 will have more zones in the hundreds. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Sailors passing on the street, are you ready?